Uh, this webcast is going to talk about how availability sets enable high availability for your virtual machines. Our SLA 99.95% monthly for virtual machines requires deployment of at least two instances in an availability set. The concepts of availability sets are similar to upgrade or fault domains. A fault domain in Windows Azure is defined by avoiding single points of failure, like the network switch. When multiple virtual machines are connected together in a cloud service, an availability set can be used to ensure that the machines are located in different fault domains. Windows Azure also periodically updates the operating system that hosts the instances of an application. A virtual machine is shut down when an update is applied. An update domain is used to ensure that not all of the virtual machine instances are updated at the same time. When you assign multiple virtual machines to an availability set, Windows Azure ensures that the machines are assigned to different update domains. The slide shows two virtual machines running IIS in separate update domains and two virtual machines running SQL Server also in separate update domains. It is useful if you want to create a pair of SQL servers for higher availability. This is to ensure your database to keep running even if you get some sort of faults. When you create new virtual machines, you get the option to create new availability sets or to plug machine to an existing availability set. So now let's create the first virtual machine and the availability set at the same time and then add the virtual machines to the availability set as you create them. So an example is that we create IS1, we will create a brand new availability set. Um, we call this A set one in this case. Um, when we create virtual machine IS2, if you select connect to an existing virtual machine, and then choose IAS1 virtual machine and then you should be able to see ASAT1 is available for IAS2 virtual machine.